Josh here from Burning Hand Sounds. I'm here to talk to you about the Bass Octave Deluxe. That would be cool if I had a sound effect there. The Bass Octave Deluxe from MXR delivers some sub-octave punch madness, some might say. Now, I'm sure if you're here watching this video, you've seen a million videos about this pedal, and it deserves it. It's a great pedal, so I won't bore you. We'll go over things very quickly here. The girth knob controls a deep, smooth sub-octave frequency. You might say this is the Barry White of the pedal. Now the growl, the growl is more of a throaty mid-range sub-octave frequency. You can, might say this is kind of like a young Tom Waits. Of course, you have your dry, every bass player needs a dry pedal, or knob, however you want to say it. The mid-range plus switch will add up to 14 dBs of mid-range loveliness. Especially if you're in a band situation and you need to cut through the mix just a little bit more, this button will help you do that. And of course, if you open up the back, it is completely adjustable. But you knew that, you're smart. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Now I'm gonna plug this in, turn some knobs, and tell you how I use it. Now I'm also gonna be running this into some other pedals and see the different sounds I get. Now I, I like to turn this dry knob all the way off just for the wet signal. You get some really great almost synthesizer sounds. So come on, let's go down. Down, down. To the sub octave deluxe. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Base Octave Deluxe. It was a good take and I didn't want to redo it. Come on.
guys welcome back see she plays really well with other pedals i thought you would enjoy that i sure did bass octave deluxe and look at this beautiful paint job that's so nice that's like the hot rod of bass octave deluxe pedals well thank you for joining us any other questions you have please go to the mxr webpage or contact me here through burning hand sounds peace